I'm Brother Hill the Hood, and this is my black story. So my name is Ajimu Butler, uh, better known to some as Brother Hill the Hood. Uh, I'm a 25 year old community activist. Uh, I'm a spoken word artist. Um, that is one of my, I, say, I often tell people that spoken word is my second language. Um, it is a way for me to speak to the unspoken. It's a way for me to be the voice of the uh, voiceless, if you will. I'm a father. Uh, my son is my best friend. He's another best thing that has ever happened to me type of situation. Um, I am an educator. I love working in the school hands on. Um, with my high school students, man, and really helping them to overcome the demons that they find themselves fighting on a daily basis. Um, I see God in them. I appreciate them. Um, they love this movement, Heal the Hood, and Heal the Hood, love them back. Um, I'm genuinely me. I am who I am. I'm a, I'm a community activist and a servant. I'm a community servant. Um, I'm from the whole Milwaukee. <laughs> no fun intended, man. No fun intended. But um, because poverty hit us so hard when we was younger, man, we stayed in kind of different parts of the city from 20th and Locust to 1st and Garfield, 1st and Chamber, uh, 60th and in, in, in Hampton, uh, 35th and Burleigh, 44th and Center. I mean, I literally can keep going on for about at least another four um, different areas in the city. We stayed in Brown Deer. I stayed on 5th and Greenfield, 25th and Capitol, 49th and Fee Brands. You know what I'm saying? That's just, again, because poverty had us. You know, 52nd and Hadley um, had us moving around. So I'm from every single corner of this city, straight up. And really though, the, the English language, man, 26 letters can't even really describe, man, how much of a powerful impact my father had on me. Um, my father is a community man. He, 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 he is the definition of an elder. He is the definition of wisdom. Um, he is a seasoned man. He owns personality, um, cultural bookstore over on Titonia and Flores. Um, and, and me being his son, his only son, um, I think that he specifically um, poured a certain vision into me. He specifically poured a certain mission inside of me um, to not just pick up the torch that he held as a father and a righteous father at that, but to pick up the torch of the movement. Uh, my father has literally been serving the community, I mean, for 30, 40, 50 years now. Um, and so it's my pleasure to, to follow up after him in his footsteps um, and allow Heal the Hood to be an extension of my father. I often say, um, I don't represent my first name, I represent my last name. And that's what I live for, and that's who I'm gonna live for, my last name. Heal the Hood, um, the Black Party campaign. So we have two major arms um, of Heal the Hood. We have our educational or our in-school campaign, and that's where we go and do the workshops in the schools. We do consulting in the schools. We do parent liaisoning in the schools, community engagement in the schools, so on and so forth. And then we have our outreach arm of Heal the Hood, which is our major Black Party campaign. Um, we started the Black Parties back in May of 2012. Um, and in the, the six years, I mean, we have touched four, five, six, seven hundred people um, at these events. There's always free food, there's always vendors, there's always free haircuts, there's always um, the speakers. We always say it's edutainment because you're going to get entertained and educated, edutainment at the same exact time. Um, I mean, the vendors that we have who represent cultural enhancements, they represent black entrepreneurship, um, they, they are resources to the people. Um, um, they have good services and materials for the people that can help to enrich the people's lives. I tell people be very selective of the circle that's around you. You know what I'm saying? I can't be talking about building a community over here and my dudes talking about hopping in the stories over here. You know what I mean? I can't be talking about trying to be a better father over here and my dudes and them talking about going to the strip club over here. Um, so you can't serve two masters. And so if you really aspire to do better and be better and see a better community around you, that starts with cultivating your children. That starts with changing the mind frame of your friends. Uh, because if you kick it with five bums, you're going to be number six. If you kick it with five rich dudes, you're going to be number six. You know what I'm saying? And that's really the mentality. So as they always say, if you change your environment, you can change your mind. If you change your mind, you can change your environment. So we don't want to focus on changing the world. That's not my goal. I don't think I can change the whole globe, um, but I will change the world around me. I can't change the world, but I'm going to change the world around me. And that world is Milwaukee. Um, and that's what I'm inspired to do. Y'all need to do the same, period. It ain't that hard. <laughs>